All right, I'm Box. And this is Regable. And this is iPhone Hacking Episode 5. Uh, unlocking and jailbreaking of the iPhone 2.0 software with an Edge iPhone. And the uh, jailbreak process for the 3G iPhone. Yes. Which I just got. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's still waiting for the unlock. It might be a while. <laughs> this process is fairly simple. We're going to upgrade, jailbreak, and unlock 2.0 software all in the same swoop. And we're going to use the Pwnage tool for this created by the iPhone dev team. We'll do this in simple mode, and then we'll jailbreak the iPhone 3G in the expert mode. You're gonna need to download the iPhone Pwnage tool. You're also gonna need a couple bootloader files, bootloader version 3.9 and bootloader version 4.6, and they're bin files. So launch the Pwnage tool. We're gonna go and select the iPhone and it'll ask you to locate the new iPhone 2.0 firmware. It should automatically find where it's been uh, downloaded from uh, iTunes. If not, you'll need to browse for it. Then it'll ask you for the bootloader files. So either you can tell it to search the web for them or you can just browse your computer locally for them. Sometimes it'll find them automatically. And it'll ask you if you're a legit iPhone user. Now this one's important. If you're gonna unlock the iPhone and you're not on AT&T, you're gonna have to hit no. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck. It won't bypass activation. So then it'll build the IPSW restore file, a custom one. And so be patient. This takes a little while. Uh, put in your password for your Mac account so it can create the file. And then it'll ask you if the phone's been pwned before. If you used our tutorials before, then that's a no. And it's safest just to say no no matter what. It's just a little tricky getting the phone into DFU mode. But they help guide you through it. Just connect your iPhone up via USB and then follow the steps. Turn off the iPhone by holding in the power button until the slide to turn off bar appears. Hold in both the power button and the home button during the countdown and then release the power button. And continue holding down the home button and it should enter the DFU mode. Now the DFU mode, there's nothing on the screen when it enters this mode iTunes should launch and say that it's detected an iPhone that needs to be restored. Now hold down the Alt key on your Mac and then you can select the custom firmware that was made. And in fact, it can take up to 30 minutes. Do not, do not do anything until it's done or you could break your iPhone. All right, now we're gonna jailbreak the iPhone 3G. This is the exact same process except for I'll go ahead and do the expert mode to show you some more of the details. Select, launch the Pwnage tool, select iPhone 3G, go ahead and select the 2.0 firmware. Notice it's named slightly different than the one for the regular iPhone. And then you have some options. In general, you are able to select whether or not you want to bypass the activation. And uh, you can actually resize the root partition. So this is where you store the apps and other various utilities. Um, boot neuter, that would be relevant if you're on the regular iPhone for um, unlocking it, but you can't unlock the 3G at this point in time. You can manually add some packages there. Most importantly, you can get rid of these logos if you don't like them, or you can put your own in for your iPhone's custom firmware. Go ahead and build it, and then the process is exactly the same whether you're using the iPhone or um, an iPod. Note, not let iTunes restore your backed up iPhone onto the new 2.0 software if it was previously jailbroken because people were reporting issues. And there you go. You have installer and you have also SIATA so you can run jailbroken programs as well as uh, regular apps from 2.0 App Store. All right, one last note as we we're finishing up this episode, the WinPone was released. Now if you look at these screens here, it's virtu virtually identical, um, just, you know, some of the buttons are in a little bit different places, but it does the exact same thing for you lucky folks on Windows, which are like 80% of our audience. <laughs> so have fun, and hopefully we'll be back with the unlock of the 3G sometime soon. And so now if you have an Edge iPhone, you've just loaded up and unlocked the latest 2.0 iPhone software. And the 3G iPhone, you've got jailbreak so you can do both the installer app, or not installer yet soon installer but Cydia but it's, yeah Insidia. so you can do uh, the NES emulator right now and uh, then you also got all the legal apps or whatever yes so well it'd be interesting to see if uh, some of the stuff from App Store that costs money 
gets ported over to Cydia. Yeah, and there's some, <laughs> and uh, the uh, jailbreaking kind of takes away the fair play, so you can kind of copy apps now, which may not be cool. We don't condone that. Yeah, yeah, we don't condone that. Yeah, don't copy people's apps for free. <laughs> All right, so have fun. <laughs> yeah, subscribe to the feed. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Walking Crow. Our website, twosmartguys.com. You can see all the videos on this. We have DVDs for 10 bucks if you want to help us get to producing these shows more often by showing your support. Bucks is a whore. Uh, something like that. <laughs> and the forums, tons of help. So if you're like, oh, how do I, I, you didn't really show the windows that well. How do I do that? Our forums. Yes, ask questions. And we'll see you next time on the Two Smart Guys video podcasts. This has been a Two Smart Guys production.